Carolyn and Robbie, the city of Taylor is in mourning tonight. They have lost two officers in the line of duty this summer. Today, Lieutenant Dan Cromer was remembered as an outstanding officer, outstanding friend and family man. The city of Taylor's grief is evident in the procession of police vehicles escorting Lieutenant Dan Cromer to his funeral. Hundreds of officers from Michigan and all over the Midwest on hand at Wayne County Community College in Taylor to pay tribute. The 54-year-old auxiliary officer was killed September 7th by a hit-and-run driver in the line of duty as he helped a couple stranded on westbound I-94. Auxiliary Lieutenant Dan Cromer is truly the husband and father of two served on the auxiliary force for 20 years. He's doing just the daily duties, helping a stranded motorist. And we do that all the time. And you wouldn't think that another car is going to hit him and just take off like that. It's a sad reality of the job that we do, and we're all just here to show our solidarity. And our thoughts and prayers go out to the fallen officer and his family. Taylor is still reeling from the death of 34-year-old officer Matthew Edwards, who was shot and killed in July while investigating a burglary. One of the most heart-wrenching moments of the farewell, a symbolic last radio call to Lieutenant Cromer, who died doing what he loved, helping people. Auxiliary 2, Lieutenant Cromer. All units be advised that Auxiliary 2, Lieutenant Cromer, is out of service. He may be gone, but he will never be forgotten. A heartbreaking situation for the city of Taylor tonight. A Dearborn man is being held on $5 million bond for hitting and leaving Lieutenant Cromer to die. He's charged with second-degree murder and looking at up to life in prison. In Taylor, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7 Action News.